day after the Russian deadline for Mariupol to surrender ended, Russia has intensified bombardment in the disputed Donbass region in the eastern Ukraine. In the meantime, the Ukrainian security stationed in Mariupol has said that they would fight to end while Russia is now planning to restrict access to the besieged city of Mariupol. Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. The ruling alliance yet to settle the issue of poll partnership at the metropolis and submetropolis, a decision expected in a crucial meeting today. The term of IGP of Nepal Police and Armed Police Force expires just ahead of the local level polls. Stiff competition among the top contestants in both the security bodies. At least 40 people killed and dozens others wounded in attacks carried out by the Pakistan forces in the southeastern province of Khost and the eastern province of Kunar. And Chelsea register a clinical 2 0 win over Crystal Palace to set up a FA Cup title clash against Liverpool at Wembley on 14th May. The ruling coalition partners failed to arrive at a consensus call on the allocation of candidates for the upcoming local-level elections yesterday. The coalition partners stake their respective claims, which eventually led to a lack of agreement on the common candidate. The meeting yesterday decided that a final decision on poll alliance for metropolis and submetropolis would be taken today. Mao Center leader Naran Gaji Shrestha informed that a final assessment of all the reports will be done today to facilitate a decision. A committee led by Nepali Congress senior leader Ramchandra Paudel is currently assessing the reports prepared by the district committees. The top brass leaders were assigned to settle the allocation of candidacies for the metropolis and the submetropolis. Mao Center continued with their demand to retain Bharatpur Metropolis alongside Taran, Jitpur, Simara, Hitoda and Ghorahi Submetropolis. Likewise, Unified Socialist has staked its claim for Pokhara Metropolis. Nepali Congress is yet to concede to the demands of the ruling partners as the parties have said that a decision would be reached with further deliberations today. At a time when political parties are finding it difficult to nominate candidates for the upcoming local polls, the central leaders have been vying to get the ticket to contest the local level elections. The ministers and lawmakers from the centre and provinces look interested to lead the local bodies. Minister for Law and Communication Bindu Kumar Thapa from Gandaki province had filed an application to his party, Nepali Congress, showing his intent to contest as mayor from Pokhara Metropolis. Likewise, lawmakers Krishna Thapa and Rajiv Pahari from Gandaki registered their name at the party office of CPNUML to contest for the lucrative post of Pokhara mayor. Another lawmaker, Asha Koirala, has been recommended by her party, CPN Mao Center, to contest for the post of mayor for Tanahu's Shukla Gandaki municipality. Asha Koirala is also a former minister at the center. The scenario has meanwhile led to massive discontentment among other aspiring candidates from the respective parties. Political analysts also feel that the scenario doesn't augur well for the future of federalism in the face of widespread criticism of the elected provincial representatives and their continued lust for power. Nepal Police and Armed Police Force are the two pillars of internal security. The leadership of the two state bodies responsible for conducting the local elections in a fear-free atmosphere is going to expire in two weeks' time. The issue just ahead of the local elections is viewed with significant interest. The government had appointed AIG Pushparam Kesi as the IGP of Armed Police Force on the seniority basis. However, Kesi's term expires in two weeks. The officer who will be promoted to the one vacant position of AIG is sure to lead the Armed Police Force for the next term. Raju Aryal, Naren Datta Paudel and CP Gautam are in the top fray to back the position of AIG. Speculations are now rife whether the key appointment will be free from political interference. In the meantime, the term of Nepal Police IGP Sailish Thapa and his team also expires on the same day on 2nd of May. Bishwaraj Pokhrel, Shahakul Thapa, Dhiraj Pratap Singh are in the fray to back the post of Nepal Police Chief. The scenario indicates a last-minute rush for political influence to tamper the decision.
Time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Here's the question, what should be done to minimize the number of invalid votes during the local polls? The options are A, effective voter education, B, parties should take initiative, and C, voters should be aware. The voting is on, type any WS, select your option, A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Before wrapping up, here's a look at the top stories one more time. The ruling alliance yet to settle the issue of poll partnership at the metropolis and sub-metropolis. A decision expected in a crucial meeting today. The term of IGP of Nepal Police and Armed Police Force expires just ahead of the local level polls. Stiff competition among the top contestants in both the security bodies. Dozens of people killed and wounded in attacks carried out by the Pakistan forces in the southeastern province of Khost and the eastern province of Punar. And Chelsea register a clinical 2-0 win over Crystal Palace to set up FA Cup title clash against Liverpool at Wembley on 14th May. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good day.